All right, guys, how's it going? Back with another freaking video. So I've been waiting a few days to see if um, anybody will upload a video on the prices of the uh, WrestleMania 34 trial packages. I haven't seen any, so I'm gonna make a video for all of you guys wondering. Some people, you know, you've already seen them, but I wanted to make a video so a lot of people, a lot more people will know. Some people don't even know that they even released yet. So the first package we have is the most top dog one right here this is called once in a lifetime package this is like this includes a lot so you gotta like like bear with me right here right quick uh that's right so for WrestleMania 34 you get a WrestleMania 34 ticket you get rows one through five with the price you're paying I believe you should be in the first or second row but anyways you get between the rows one through five um in those sections um and that's for every single event so one through five for WrestleMania 34, one through five through uh, for Takeover. Um, get a private charter flight with WWE Legends. So if you live in the northeastern area and you go to New York, you can get a private jet with WWE superstars and legends. Um, you know, and you're gonna be treated like you know royalty. So that sounds freaking awesome. Um, and you get behind the experience, behind the scenes experiences with WWE superstars during um, NXT um, exclusive uh, receptions with WWE superstars each person in the group will share a standard hotel and the package prices is one person is nine thousand one hundred seventy five dollars and then for two people it's eight thousand five hundred twenty five dollars so that's very 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 expensive but I know there's gonna be some people out there so if that's for you good on you mate Alright, so for the next one we have the Mardi Gras um, package. This includes the WrestleMania 34 ticket for rows 1 through 5, Hall of Fame um, in the 100 premium section, NXT TakeOver, we have rows 1 through 5, Monday Night Raw, we have rows 1 through 5, uh, SmackDown Live, rows 1 through 5, and then we got I think we get a premium VIP session and one VIP session. Exclusive um, reception with WWE Superstars and a Mardi Gras tour experience with the WWE Superstars. Each person in the group will share one standard hotel and the package prices is one person 8250 two people 7150 three people 6800 and then for four people it's uh, 6,600 so that's actually way better than the first one in my opinion because you're the only thing that's different is the flight and people some people don't even live in the northeastern section to go to, all the way to New York to get that flight with all the WWE superstars and legends um, so then there's a VIP package the VIP package includes uh, rows 6 through 9 for WrestleMania 34 the 100 premium section for Hall of Fame 100 uh, level section uh, for NXT, for Raw and SmackDown. Um, that's only if remember Raw is only for the four nights and SmackDown is only for the five nights. So you have to obviously get those uh, extra nights for those two. Uh, WrestleMania access tickets. Um, you get a, two VIP sessions, and each person in the group obviously would share the standard hotel. That's going to be for the rest of them. So I'm not going to repeat that again. Um, but for the five night stay, because this one, um, all the other ones didn't really have different nights. They kind of just had, you know, the one set price here, I believe. But if I messed up, oh well. All right, so the VIP for the five night stay with six thousand seventy-five for one person, for two people with four thousand nine hundred seventy-five per person, three people with four thousand six hundred per person, and then four people with four thousand four hundred fifty dollars per person. Now for a four night stay. For one person, five thousand five hundred per person. Uh, two people with four thousand six hundred twenty-five per person. Three people is four thousand three hundred twenty-five per person, and then four people for four uh, thousand two hundred dollars per person. And then there's a three-night stay as well. We got a one person for four thousand nine hundred twenty-five. Uh, two people for four thousand two uh, hundred fifty. For three people, we have four thousand fifty. And then for four people, it's three thousand nine hundred twenty-five. 
Um, and if I said four people twice, you know what I meant to say. I meant to say three. So it's kind of like a tongue twister for me. Now we got the platinum package. That includes rows one through five, central risers, and then um, premium ramp, which is something you don't really want to get. Because I heard that you can get really great tickets, and then I heard you can get really fucking crappy shitty tickets. Um, so we got the WWE Hall of Fame induction ceremony, 100 level section, um, NXT TakeOver, 100 level section, um, and same with Raw and SmackDown. Then we got the access, we got two general admission, which is actually, in my opinion, general admission is way worth it more than the VIPs, anyways. Um, and then the package prices, uh, for platinum, for five nights is one person is four thousand one hundred seventy five, two people is three thousand one hundred, three people is two thousand seven hundred, and four people is two thousand five hundred fifty. For four night stay it's three thousand six hundred for one person, two thousand seven hundred twenty five per person for two people. Three nights is um, I mean for three people it's two thousand four hundred twenty five per person and then four people is two thousand three hundred per person. And then for the last um, option you have for platinum is three nights stay, and that's one person for three thousand twenty-five, two people two thousand three hundred fifty, and then you got three people two thousand one hundred fifty, and then four people for two thousand and fifty. It's not bad actually. For the gold package, the one that almost all the YouTubers get, if they don't get the silver package, um, I know a few YouTubers get the gold package. Um, I know Kayla. Is one of them. Vince Martinez got it last year with Kayla. Um, Stevie Breach, Miguel, all of them normally get it. I'm not sure. I think Stevie Breach is not going this year, I believe. He made that announcement. Um, but anyways, back to the topic of this. For the Central Risers, we get um, rows 6 plus, uh, six plus Central Risers. So therefore, you're like dead center in the riser seats. And you get like rows 6 and up. That's freaking amazing. That's like the best seats in the house, in my opinion. If you're not in the first five rows, the floor is not where where you should be because there's going to be so much signs, so much people. But anyways, so you got 100 level um, for Hall of Fame, NXT, Monday Night Raw, SmackDown. You get two general admission access tickets. Um, and the package for five nights is 3525 for one person, 2425 per person for two. Um, 2,075 per person for three, and 1,875 per person for four. Now, for a four-night stay, it's 2,975 for one night for I um, mean for one person. Let's say. See, this is a tongue twister. Um, because I'm trying to make this a little quicker. Two people is 2,100 per person. Uh, three people is 1,800 per person. And then four people is 1,650 per person. Go package, three-night stay accommodations. Um, one person is 2,400, two people is 1,750 per person, uh, three people is 1,550 per person, and then four people is 1,425 per person. So that's pretty freaking awesome. That's an awesome steal. But a lot of YouTubers that I've watched saying the silver package is the way to be and the way to go. And it's like everything that the gold package has, the only thing that's different is that the WrestleMania ticket is going to be different. You're going to have like the 100 level section like right um so you're basically going to be like dead center in the 100 section. So basically it's going to be like central 100 section. Um so basically that's what it is. Um but other than that, like WWE Hall of Fame, NXT, Raw, SmackDown, all the same as the gold package. Obviously, you might you know you might be in the same section, but you're probably going to get better seats in the gold package. But it's, nonetheless, it's still the same sections. Um, for a five night stay for one person, three thousand two hundred fifty. Two people is two thousand one hundred fifty. For three people, it's one thousand eight hundred. For four people, it's one thousand six hundred. For four night stay for one person, it's two thousand seven hundred. For two people, one thousand eight hundred twenty-five. For three people, one thousand five hundred twenty-five. For four people. That's 1,375 for a person. And then we got a three night stay at one person for 2,125. For two people, 1,500. And three people for 1,275 per person. And then four people is $1,150. Um, 
And if you're not going to get the travel package, I also have the ticket information here. Ticket prices are going to range from $35 to $1,000 as long as you get it from Ticketmaster when the tickets drop. Please do not try to buy tickets off of StubHub, Ticket, um, ticket Geek, whatever, Ticket City, any of those vivid seats. Those things are overpriced from other people selling them second hand. Sometimes you can get a good deal, but try to get it on the day of the sale for um, the tickets. I believe they're going to be dropping um, November 17th for the individual tickets. So don't forget to uh, stop by at Ticketmaster.com to uh, search WrestleMania and then get your tickets. That's all I got for this video. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Peace.